So here's a really interesting poll about millennials um, and the state of the economy. By the way, look at what a shitty fucking default millennials picture that is. Like, hey, we're young and here's a selfie. Like, uh, try being more stereotypical than that. <laughs> so stupid. Anyway, um, so let's take a look at a poll on millennials and the state of the economy. Axios says for 68% of millennials, debt is one of the biggest daily concerns according to new polling. Debt. Now, what's so funny is all the rampant speculation from the baby boomers and the older generations about, oh my God, these leftist millennials. Why do they love Bernie Sanders? Why don't they like the status quo? Maybe because you fucked up the status quo beyond all recognition. And here's the new reality. 68% of millennials say debt is a, one of the biggest daily concerns. So you want to know what radicalized millennials radicalized? That. That's what radicalized them. That's why when an old atheist, maybe atheist, Jewish socialist with bad posture comes along, a democratic socialist, and says, uh, let's do uh, free college. Let's do uh, Medicare for all. Let's, uh, everybody deserves health care. And the wars. Uh, millennials are like, fuck yeah, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. And then they go on to say in this article, a majority of millennials, say baby boomers, have made things worse for them, according to an Axio survey monkey poll. As they struggle with big college loans, inheriting two wars, and facing an uncertain future of work. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. The sentiment among millennials is totally correct. Uh, nothing got, there's nothing easier in the world than millennial bashing, and the media does it all the goddamn time. I mean, it, they've blamed millennials for everything under the sun. Meanwhile, what are the facts of the situation? The facts are, uh, obviously our education system is broken because so many millennials are just drowning in student loan debt. And by the way, you can't file for bankruptcy on that student loan debt. And by the way... Other developed countries have free college. Slovenia has free college. But no, we start people off deep in a hole of debt. If they want to get an education to better their lives, it's like, okay, first you're going to get into massive debt and then probably never be able to get out of it. But anyway, shut the fuck up and do it. That's the way the system works. And then at the same time that's going on, so personal economic struggles, they fucking started uh, two full-scale wars, trillions of dollars uh, in debt, you know, uh, bombing eight different countries, crash the fucking economy, and it's not just one party either, it's both parties, it's it, Bill Clinton did massive deregulation, all the way back to Ronald Reagan did regulation, uh, deregulation, you have uh, George W. Bush did deregulation, and of course, under uh, Donald Trump now, we did more deregulation, so you, do, you have this massive, sorry for the beeping, everybody, so you do this massive... Um, deregulation, which leads to a giant bubble. Uh, we have the subprime mortgage crisis. We have the Great Recession. So you guys tanked the economy. You guys started unnecessary wars. You guys got us deeply in debt. The wages have been stagnant since the 1980s because of your shitty policies. And then you turn around and blame us. Like, ah, if I, I'm not lazy. What do you guys like? Technology, you damn millennials? Yeah, and so do you. The fuck does that have to do with anything? Ha! <laughs> Look at these millennials and their technology. And they're existing in the same world as me, a glorious baby boomer. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. So, um, I like the idea that we're now polling millennials to see how they think about something, because for the longest time we were just shat on endlessly and nobody was like, hey, what's your take on it? So it's great that we're getting this out there, and by the way, it's all true. It's all true. You know, that's not to blame every baby boomer and not to blame everybody in the older generations, of course. I mean, the silent generation defeated the Nazis, so they get a pass. <laughs> uh, I'll spare shitting on them here, but I mean, for fuck's sake, man. Look at the world we've been given, and now we gotta try to clean it up. And, you know, this is a hundred yard dash, and we're not even starting on the zero yard line. We're starting on, like, the negative 300 yard line. Because we got all these wars and all this you know, fucking corruption and climate change and all that, and the older generation keeps fucking it up further, so. Now you know, um, 
we're in a bad place and we're in a bad place. Not because of what we did. We're just dealing uh, with the cars we were dealt. 